My birthday today. I am 20. <laughs> but anyway, we're having a high tea today, and um, yeah, I'll tell you guys more about how we prepared this. Um, but yeah, so we're just having fun. Oh, that's so cute! So cute! Oh! Oh, sissy. Yay! <laughs> okay, everyone dance first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, tell, tell me lead us to dancing. Yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a new birthday thing? <laughs> Arby! 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 Okay, before it burns. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Arlene. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Okay, wait. Woo! Hooray! Okay. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> I wish for a long life for all of us and yeah. until we're old we can get together. Yay! Yay! Okay. Oh, did you, did you, did you, did you, and world peace. Oh, oh, oh sorry. sorry. Okay. Nice! Okay, let's eat! Yay! Hi guys, welcome to Elegant Constructs. Um, this is RV. If you guys don't know me yet. But yes, today I'm going to talk about how you could host a high tea party at home. So who doesn't like high tea parties? Like I personally love high teas. Um, I just like the elegance, you know, those little bits of sweets and little bits of savories, and then you could have, you could have a limitless amount of coffee and tea, and you can have it in a very nice ambience. So I just really love going for high teas. But the thing is, um, if you go for high teas in say a real nice place, um, for example in Sofitel or um, for this, usually it'll cost you around $45 to $60 to $75 perhaps. Um, but if you want to host a high tea party at home, you can still do it within your budget and also within your style. So I wanted to share with you guys how I did it. One of the first key things that you would need to take into account would be, of course, the food. Um, what I did was I went into Countdown. Um, Countdown is my friend. <laughs> went there and um, bought this 50 pack of um, savory food, savory finger food. So it's from the Natural Food Co. So that's the brand. And there you get 10 pieces of men's, 10, 10 pieces of mince and cheese pies, 10 pieces of potato tops, bacon and egg, and sausage rolls. Another thing that I bought was this small cake from Countdown. And also, um, I bought these little cupcakes, red velvet cupcakes from Countdown as well. So you can put these muffins around the cake and that would actually look really, really awesome. So one of the main things as well that you need to take into account when you're planning a high tea is the three tier stand. Okay, so that's where you put in your savories and your sweets, right? Um, so what you can do is you can go to Kmart and you can buy this three tier stand. So this one only costs uh, costs 15 bucks and it's a three-tier stand with plates and it's in rose gold color. It's really nice. So I'll just show you the stand. So it just has these three rings and then it also comes with plates and then so you just put in the plates on top of these and yeah, that's it. Once you go to Kmart, one of the things that you can pick up as well is this rose gold container. So you can put in your utensils in here. So even though you have plastic um, forks and knives, it'll still look fine um, because yeah, this, this looks really nice. Buy these types of cups. Um, you can, of course, you can buy the normal cups, um, you know, the, the white styrofoam things or maybe the clear ones. Um, but this really captured my attention because I like how it's detailed. You can see. Yeah, I like how it's detailed with flowers. I like its color. Um, it's spring here, so it just really matches the season at the moment. So yeah, 
This is really nice. Also, what I bought from Kmart is this. Not the flowers, but I bought the vase as well. So, oops. So yeah, um, if, you, if you have a flower vase at home, then that's fine. Um, but this one I bought, um, it's in pink and gold color. And yeah, it's just really nice. And then my husband bought me flowers. One of the other things that you need to take into account is the teapot. Because of course, with a high tea, you will have tea. <laughs> anyway, right? <laughs> And coffee, but anyway, this teapot is from T2. My husband and I really love this teapot. <laughs> well, actually, my husband loves tea very much. So we bought this teapot from T2, and originally this this cost um, eighty dollars, but um, it was a fifty percent off sale, or I think seventy percent off, and we got it for like what thirty forty bucks. It was really good, and but yeah. You don't need to have the same teapot, of course, but perhaps in Kmart there's a teapot as well or in some other stores. I'm not sure where yet, but um, it would be good if you have this, uh, if you have a nice teapot um, that you can serve your teas with. Also, one of the things um, that you need to take into account is the smell of your house, right? So when your guests come in, of course, you want them to feel at home and you want um, your place to smell just really nice. So I got this um, vanilla scented diffuser. So this costs around $7, $8 I think. <laughs> One of the things as well that um, you would want to take into account is a nice tablecloth. So for our high tea, I opted for a just a simple white tablecloth. I also bought this from Kmart, also costs like nine dollars I think and I just like the simple pattern that it has I just wanted a really simple one because um, I don't want the tablecloth to overpower you know the table setting so there you have it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that the tips were very helpful for you guys um, as you plan your next high tea at home so if you have comments suggestions or any queries please feel free to comment down below and also please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we're very excited to show a lot more things with you guys um, about lifestyle, beauty, well-being, and travel. So I'll see you guys next time in our next video.